Hey and welcome back to the channel. It's the Sketch Monkey here. I'm glad you can join me today because in this video we're gonna have a look at the most powerful, best handling, and most exciting Subaru Technica International model ever created. That will be the 2019. STI S209. It represents a level of Subaru performance never before available in the US and is designed from the chassis out to balance raw turbocharged power with precise intuitive handling. It will be a very limited production run of this special edition STI since Subaru is only making, you guessed it, 209 cars. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the spec and tech of the Subaru STI S209, the price, which might be a bit of a shock, and last but not least, what really matters, the design. So let's get into it. First of all, I think we have to talk about the price. This is not a new car. It was introduced in January of 2019 at the Detroit Auto Show and people were excited. Finally, Subaru fans in the US got a special edition STI normally reserved for the Japanese market, but the pricing might have taken away some of that excitement. At $63,995, the S209 is the most expensive Subaru ever sold in North America with a $27,000 increase over the regular WRX STI. So is it worth it? Well, there's a lot that separates this car from the regular family-oriented Subarus and even the standard STIs. Let's talk about what you actually get in this model. So since 1988, Subaru Technica International, or STI, has studied and applied motorsports and vehicle development engineering to upgrade and refine Subaru vehicles, both for professional racing and for everyday performance on your favorite back road and twisty corners. Under the hood, the STI S209 features a 2.5 liter flat four or boxer engine standard in most Subarus and a larger turbocharger for increased boost, along with an upgraded fuel pump, injectors, and a remapped engine control unit. And this results in 341 horsepower, 330 pound feet of torque, and a zero to 60 miles per hour time in less than five seconds. The quarter mile is completed in 13 seconds flat. No automatic paddles in the S209. Thankfully, it's fitted with a six speed old school manual. So you might ask, what's the reason for me making a video on a car that is a year old? I think this, Subaru has always been a special brand to me. They make cars that are made for enthusiasts and this seems to be one of the last models that really focuses on the driver experience. So I wanted to talk about the latest and most powerful version of the STI and that would be the S209. And in this video, I'm also of course going to redesign it because there are a few things about this design that makes it look older than it necessarily have to be. So back to the specs of the car, one really cool feature of the S209 is what Super calls the intercooler water spray system. So underneath the hood scoop, Subaru installed an intercooler water spray system, which is linked to column mounted paddles. What this does when you pull it is it activates the spray system to drop the engine intake temperature and give you a instant boost of power. It's a pretty cool thing that I've never heard before. STI engineers also worked with Dunlop to develop tires specifically formulated for the S209 and they're mounted on forged 19 by 9 inch wheels which is a half inch wider than standard. They're also lighter and stronger than the stock wheels for a quicker suspension response. This wheel and tire combo helps the S209 develop over 1G of lateral acceleration on the skid pad. The car is also fitted with a Brembo Performance braking system featuring silver finished six piston front and two piston rear monoblock calipers along with a large cross drilled rotors, which I'm sure will come in handy on track. Now let's talk about the design. So this generation STI is starting to feel a bit dated. We'll change some of that in the redesign we're making in this video, but Subaru has hinted that a new WRX STI is on its way with the presentation of the visive concepts of the 2019 Tokyo Auto Salon. 
I personally like the look of these concepts, low, chiseled, and most of all, a lot beefier, and they just look more planted than the current ge generation. However, it's a pretty typical concept look of these cars, and that means that a lot will change when it comes time to turn this into a production ready vehicle. What's most likely a lot closer to a production version is the Subaru Levorg prototype also unveiled last year in 2019. Still has the chiseled look of the Visive concepts but a bit toned down as expected for a production car. But this is of course still only a prototype but to me it kind of looks a lot closer to production compared to the wild Visive concepts. However, since the US is allergic to station wagons for some weird reason, even when this reaches production, it will unfortunately not be sold in the States. But it's a good indication to where Subaru is heading with its design language. So what differentiates the S209 to a regular STI? It's most notably the flared fenders in all four corners and the exclusive carbon fiber wing. It also comes with a roof completely made out of carbon fiber. That is, of course, to save weight and increase rigidity. And the S209 is only available in two colors. It's blue pearl with satin gray wheels or crystal white pearl with satin gold wheels. I would probably choose the white one with the gold wheels. I think that combo looks really cool. And guess what? That's also the version that we're going to use for this slight redesign of the S209 here. I'm going to use the rear view because I think the rear view is the area where this car looks the most dated. And the reason for that is the LED. So the, the, the easiest way to tell the age of a car <laughs> is to look at the lights and the, the, the light design. You see all these new cars with some, some very complicated and complex LED lighting and light strips and curves and all this stuff. And then you look at this Subaru here and it still has some old LED bulbs. It doesn't even have an LED strip. So that's one thing we're going to change in this redesign, of course. But the main thing is, when I showed you the Visive concepts earlier in this video, the thing I love about those concepts is the stance. It has that concept stance that unfortunately is lost so often when the concept goes into production. So what I wanted to do here is to bring that type of stance back and make it even wider than it is. It is already two inches wider than the traditional STI, this S209, but I want to make it even wider than that because it's a Subaru Impreza WRX STI S209 and to me it has to be beefy if it has a name like that. So that's what we're doing here. I'm adding some more fender flares to this design and for the color of the wheels, I really like the stock colors for the S209, the gold and white. It kind of works well together. To me, there are only two kind of combos that you can use if you're using some co some sort of gold accents. And one is gold and white, like this car right here, or you can also use gold and red. It works really, really well as well, in my opinion. Other than that, gold is kind of hard to match up with other colors than those two. So those are the changes that I wanted to make when it comes to the stance of the car. And for the graphics, one thing that's always been bugging me when I see this car is the... The, the, the outline of the rear lights. There are so many irregular curves on the rear lights of this car that I want to have it, I want to sharpen it up and I want to have it more, have more confident, confidence in its design. And what I mean by that is not have some tiny radiuses or radii that goes in some corner that you kind of have to guess if it's supposed to be there or not. Instead of having it there, I want to straighten those lines out. And to me, I mean, you can see that it just creates a, a lot cleaner a look when it comes to the graphical design of the rear lights. And since it's the top of the range WRX STI here, we got to make the diffuser stand out more than it does on the stock version. So I'm increasing the height. And then I also love these kind of F1 style rear lights that we have. I think those are fog lights. 
So I want to add that as well in center of the diffuser just to break up this massive black graphical element that we have that is the diffuser. I want to break that up graphically in the center by adding this third or fourth brake light to the design. And since we have this super aggressive package now on this design, by the way, I also wanted to integrate a ducktail because I, <laughs> I love integrated ducktails and it looks so good. It doesn't matter what car you have. You can have a Toyota Yaris. If it has an integrated ducktail, it just makes the entire design a lot better. So of course I wanted to add that to this as well. So now that we have this insane body kit, you might call it a body kit or redesign or mod modernization or whatever. We can't leave out the the uh, wings that goes in the diffuser. We need to have those as well. So I wanted to add four of those symmetrically, of course, across the width of the diffuser. And that also breaks up this massive black graphical element that is the diffuser as well. And coming to an end of this design, I just love how this turned out. Looking at the stance of it, it just sits right now. It looks proper, it looks aggressive, and it looks like a special edition. But at the same time, it doesn't look too ricey. Because all I did was taking the stock elements that are already there from factory and enhance those visually. So Subaru, to me, is one of the last brands with, with new cars that you can buy today that has this much focus on the driver and the driving experience itself in this price range. Because in its core, this, the STI, the WRX and the S209, they're very simple cars. It's a car for people who want to go with a drive without having a set destination. It's a car for enthusiasts. And although we're moving toward a world where we're letting go of the controls and handing it over to computers, I hope future generations STI will always list driving experience at the top of their priorities.